Hi, this is Seppi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a red squirrel in the snow. I started by working wet on dry, working on the squirrel first. I use red browns. I started by mixing sepia and burnt sienna, and I added some burnt umber for the darker areas. I use two brushes, um, number six and number eight, and I applied paint on smaller size brush and then washed off the edges uh, with number eight. In some areas, I use the tip of my brush to add some texture for the hair on the squirrel. For the eye, I added some viridian green and then indigo or you can also use paints gray to darken the eye but the eye is more like dark green and it shows the reflections of the ambience. I use the same warm uh, brown colors, red browns for the tail and then I started working on the snow by applying very light color grays using some purple and cerulean blue. For the background, I wetted um, my background paper with one inch flat brush and then I added uh, Russian green or Viridian green and some brown in some areas. I added some ultramarine blue to darken the green or some alizarin red. While I was working on the background, I tried to add some more dark colors um, around the edge of the snow, around the squirrel, and I also try to add some textures or patterns of evergreens and branches with the tip of my brush using darker colors and brown. I use the same dark brown colors, Viridian green, um, Russian green, ultramarine blue to darken it, or alizarin red to darken the green, and also indigo underneath the snow uh, to show the needles of my tree. For the final touch, I glazed over the background with some um, ultramarine blue and purple. I went over the cheek and the muzzle and in general over the body of my squirrel and added some more of the same colors to create more value and more texture. I darkened around the edges of the snow, especially where the uh, snow meets the body of the squirrel and I darkened underneath the uh, snow a little bit more. One more touch to my snow using some pink and purple and blue and then going over the ears, inside the ears, over the darker areas of the squirrel with some more color, same colors that I explained earlier. I used darker greens and I added more needles of my evergreen underneath the snow. This is the glaze that I added.
at the end I use my ink pen just to add some accents of dark colors here and there uh, in my work around my squirrel. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.